What is going on guys and welcome to a new episode that I am doing just once. So, this is as you can see here, it is a thumbnail tutorial and that's basically how to make an awesome tutorial like the one you see in the image corner below or up or wherever it is. So, um, this is a little blurry around the sides of him but it doesn't matter because YouTube makes this image so much smaller in the end. Anyway, so... I'm going to show you how I got what I got. So, here we go. 1920 by 1080 is what I'd advise you to go with on the pixels, guys. That's the only thing I can advise here on IGB colour. Make sure that's that. Otherwise, it could end up all being in black and white. You don't really need to name it at first. It's up to you. And you can add some presets. But I honestly don't... Well, I, oh, that's just for the width and stuff. So, <clears throat> I'd advise 1920 by 1080 just because... It goes into the thumbnail size properly in any other window that YouTube would decide to put it in. So, or any other thing you'd like to use. It's just the best one, in my opinion, to use. You don't have to. You can make it smaller, but it won't make any difference, really, in the long run. <coughs> uh, to clear my throat. So, here we go. So, we've got the blank thing. And what we're going to do first is get a nice little image from the background. Now, that's the one I just used in my other one. And you can get a, an image as easy, well really easy like you could just use that one you can search things like minecraft minecraft backgrounds or if you're doing something else you could just search backgrounds and get something like that or so let's say if we just go backgrounds and we'll make one today a little bit like my guide to the end so we'll get hmm, let's think what we can do let's find a good one um i like I don't want one too fancy because it we wouldn't even notice good. I'll use this one. So view the original image to get the full size and there it is. So we'll copy that image and we'll paste it here behind it and just make sure it's resized properly. Now it's got this little thing down here where it's from just I'm just gonna delete that. Shh. Don't tell them. Don't tell the people. So um now once you've got that Let's just do this. So now we've got the background image. And there we go. Now we want to start thinking of what we're going to add. So at first I'm going to add some text. Now I got this text that I'm using. We'll just call this cheese it has. Right. And I got this chest. Uh, this not chest. This text from defont.com. And you can get all sorts of. Um, text from there, it's really easy, you download it, you click install, you reopen Photoshop or whatever you're using, and it will be there. So, let's just rasterize this, and that just basically turns it into an image instead of text. And I'm just going to copy that, control, uh, delete, I control C to copy by the way, and then control V, will paste it again. Now, they are two separate images, see? So I can move that one there, and I can move this one here. Now I want to make them a little bit bigger, so let's try this, and then again, oh, enter, da, idiot jack, right, and then here's the second one, you can obviously resize that to whatever size you would like, and there's the next one, now I like to do this, you don't have to do this, but um, you can also merge these first, but in this one, I'm not going to. If you did want to merge them, you could merge visible or you could hold shift, click them. So it selects them both. And then du uh, not duplicate layers, merge layers. And that will turn it into one image. But here we go. I just want to click layer two and add the effects of a stroke. And that's going to add, as you can see here, this little black border. Now, I'm actually going to change that to red, I think. Um, Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, no, we'll go with the blue. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice colour. So, um, we want to crank this up a bit. Because don't forget, it's going to be a thumbnail. So, it's going to be really small in the end. So, we're going to do that. And then... Sorry about all my Skypes popping up. God. People just don't know how to give me some privacy nowadays. Damn it. Anyway, and then again here. Just want to add that one to 13. And turn it to the colour blue. Um, you don't have to do it the same colour, but I've chosen to. And you can also add blenders, positions, so if it's in the inside, and things like that. So there we go, we have now got the cheese eaters. And I'm going to actually merge these now, so hold shift, click the other one. And then merge, where is it? There it is, merge layers. 
So now these will move about as one image. So I'm going to just stable that in the middle. Look at this. Look, look how awesome this is. So now I am going to change the color of the text a bit. So I'm just holding shift here and I've got the one tool. And I'm just basically clicking in all these gaps where there's the color that I want to change. And then eventually when it, oh, apparently I let go of it. There we go. So, yeah, there. Now, as you can see, it's selecting all these different letters as if it's one color. Uh, well, that's because it is one color, but yeah. So now all of them, whatever I do here, is going to change it. Now here, next to the paint bucket, it might show up as one of them two for you, is the gradient tool. And now you just choose the two colors you want here. So for cheese, I think we should go with an orange. Let's go with an orange. Oh, no. That's not what we want. An orange. And then the second color, we want to be a yellow. So here we go. We've got that now up here. You can change this. And that will, you know, you can change it so there's preset ones. Or you can use the presets. So I'll double click this right there. There you go. To add more. So you could add more colors into it if you wanted just by clicking. And then adding it or either side. So there you go. Look, it's going in the middle now. But I, I don't want that. So let's just get off that. Good. So now, as you can see, when I do this, I draw a line. And because of this tool that I'm on here, uh, where I'm drawing the line is going to turn orange, because that's my primary color. So there you go, as you can see, there's a fading line of orange. Now in this one, I'm gonna change to this instead and do it kind of a, that color. Someone just rang me, I, ho I hope you didn't get too annoyed. I was just like, no, don't ring me, you idiot. And just click, click wood. So, we are back. So there we go. I found a color I like. Then control D. And that'll deselect it. So now, that's what we've got so far. Oh my god, it's cheese eaters with a blue stroke. Now, I don't really like the stroke, but I can't be bothered to change it. So, we'll carry on. Now, we've got the background and that. So now I'm deciding, you know what? I want to add a Minecraft character into it. So here we go on my Cinema 4D. I've got a rig, which I'd give you the link for it, but my friend sent me this one, so I don't know it. It has no facial features or hand features. It's a very basic one. You can find a lot better ones, and you can even pay for some pretty epic ones. And just you just move around, and, uh, well, you just click this when you want it rendering. Now, you can render it as a picture, but uh, I'm too lazy to do that, so... Uh, I'll just quickly show you a little bit about this rig. Um, There's the feet here, the feet tool, so if I move this... Just spread it right out, and then the right foot pail. Uh, oh, so, so that's where the knees are going. Uh, I clicked the wrong bits, but you know. So there we go. Now the knees, if you look, will be facing outwards. Like, ah, look. Oh, we'll make him do Gangnam Style. So now we've got that. That's pretty fine. Um, we can close that one. Now we need th these bones, I think. And then bar. Oh, no. Chain arms. Here we go. So then the right hand is this one here. So we need that to be up here. And like that, hopefully. Let's have a look at this. Um, No, that's not looking right. So we'll change the pole. And take that pole right out there. Let's have a look at that now. There we go. That's looking a little bit like it. I just need to bring myself around so I can see it from the front. So there you go. It's looking a little bit that Gangnam style now. So, um, his hands and stuff are a little bit off, off, like I said, it's not the best rig in the world, but it does the job. So now we're just going to move his hand a little bit down and move this rig here. So as you can see, his elbow is moving out a little bit and let's render that. So look at that. That's the best Gangnam style I've ever seen. So I'm going to click print screen on my keyboard here. Or right, you could use other things like rendering it, but like I said, I'm lazy. And as you can see here, I have a plane behind it, which I just made, rotated it 90 degrees, and then made it bigger and added just a random color. Um, the color doesn't even matter. In fact, you might not even need to add a color. I have decided to add one because um, the gray that started kind of merged with the sleeves and the back, uh, the suit of my character. So he started to lose some of its suit, so I decided to use green. I'm just going to quickly change this though, because the... Pardon me. The green didn't work very well, so we'll try a lighty bluey type thing. Let's try that. So if I render that, hopefully that shouldn't do it. So if I print screen, 
and then I'm just gonna click Control V again in Photoshop, and there you go. So now I get the select tool. I want to select around my dude. Click Control C to copy it. Control A to select everything, and then just delete because I don't need that again. And then Control V again, and oh look, it's perfect. So I want to move him down to this corner here. Control T to make this size thing up, come up. If you saw me doing that earlier in the text, that's just what I was doing. Don't worry. And let's just leave it there. Apply. It doesn't matter how he looks right now because this is just for me to get rid of the background. And if I make him a little bit bigger, it's a little clearer when I do it. So there we go. We'll get rid of that. And his hole between his trousers. Um, that's totally normal. Okay. <laughs> and then... Um, We'll get him back, control T, and as you can look, oh, damn, need to control D first, damn, <laughs> it's funny because it's his penis area, right, um, so as you can see, he's got a little bit of a green overglow, you can get rid of that in a couple of different ways, but, um, sorry, under, well, I don't know what you'd call that, but yeah, so, we'll resize him to the size we want him to be, and I'm just going to get a get it away with a really basic way, so I'm going to add a stroke again, uh, I'm going to change it to the inside and I was going to change its opacity right down like I did on the other one like that but you know what I'm pretty happy with the black line I kind of like that so we've got the black line and then I kept it small but now I'm going to add an outer glow like the other one and change this here to precise and then that to 32 and I think that just makes a pretty good glow for my character so now that there is just about what you guys are probably seeing, about that size, maybe there, maybe there. So as you can see, it's looking pretty nice now. Now we can also add a couple of other images, maybe from Google. So we'll go back to Google and we'll say, you know what, let's get me a creeper in there. So I'll put creeper and try and gra grab an image of that. So I want a pretty cool one if I can find one. Um, her, let, let's get us a good one. Come on guys, can you see one? Um, come on, there's got to be a good one somewhere. Um, do 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 Come on. Oh, I might just have to. Oh, you know what? Let's take this one. Now, it's probably not going to um, keep a lot of that smoke in it. Oh, oh, click the wrong button. Where is it? Come on, show me. Show me the picture. There we go. Oh, come on. Open it in a new link. Go away. There we go. Load me, please. Come on, don't be so slow. Why are you being so slow, image? Oh, that is a pretty awesome picture of an ever creeper. It's got some antennas. It's got smoke coming out of its mouth because of its TNT in its stomach. But yeah, because of Photoshop, we're probably going to lose a lot of the smoke unless I don't use the one tool. But I'm too lazy not to. So as soon as we've got all this creeper in, we can just copy that and. Then we want to paste it in again, and um, just to zoom in a little bit more, and we're going to use the lasso tool this time, but we're going to use the polygon lasso tool, just because it's a little bit easier to use, to get rid of a lot of this stuff around the edges that we don't want, see, and then just go around the smoke, because I'm going to try and keep it in so I can show you guys a couple of tricks, and just enter to finish, control C, and then control A, control D, you, you know the drill. So there we go. Now we've got this. We're going to change from the one tool to the quick selection tool and just do that. And then control D, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And just get rid of as much of this as we can. And now we only really need to, oh, nope, to focus around the smoke. So if we could get rid of that, that'd be cool. And you know what? We'll just get rid of all of it. <laughs> I'm too lazy, like I said. So, um, that's basically what that tool does, you can select little bits, but since I'm showing you this in a tutorial and it's not a tutorial on Photoshop, I'm just going to take this back, it'll be quicker. Uh, come on, I'm doing Ctrl Alt Z here by the way guys, for those of you that don't know Photoshop that much, like I did in a couple of weeks ago, so come on, uh, bring it all back, come on, a couple more bits, uh, uh, come on, I can see you all go, Ah, oh, I went too far, damn it. So obviously eventually if you, uh, oh actually you know what, I'll control A, delete, and control V again. Uh, I, I knew there was a reason I did that. So obviously you can only go back a certain amount of times in Photoshop because it's not saving the entire thing you do because it doesn't think you need it because you don't. So 
Uh, now with doing this, I'm just quickly getting rid of, getting rid of a lot of these areas quickly. Uh, I hoped it would come off a lot easier, but it isn't. Oh, ah, there we go. Get rid of some of this. And it, basically what this one tool does is it selects a lot of the similar coloured things around that area. So let's just zoom in a little bit now. Get down here and then just get rid of these last couple of bits. Ah, oh, yeah. And get that one there. That one there. And I actually want to just use the poly, the lasso tool here and just quickly crop out that because... It went a little bit wrong around here, you can see, so let's just delete that, and that looks pretty decent. So, again, I want to get this, this one tool, and get rid of some of this stuff. There we go. And I'm doing this, by the way, guys, because someone requested that I do this on the channel. It's like, yeah, dude, tell me how you do your, do your thumbnails, do a video on it. So I was like, you know what, I will. So here's me doing a video, dude. You better be watching. Um, it kind of screwed up the creeper's head a little bit, but, you know, who cares? So, um, now I just need to control D to get rid of that selection. And I can move it about, control T to make him a bit smaller. And there we go. So let's just stick his head out of it so you can't see where I went wrong. And perfect, look at that now. So now, there we go, there's my cheese eater. And you know what, we're going to do the same with the creeper as we did with... My guy, we're gonna give him an outer glow. So let's just do it again. Opacity zero. Oh no. Opacity seventy-five. We want that to be thirty-two and this to be precise. So there we go, we've got a nice little glow for the creeper now, and he looks a little bit less retarded. So let's keep him over the text like that. Oh yeah. So that's just about the finished thing, guys. If you've got any more questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. I've been Generous Lippers, and bye.